What's up guys, Dustin from Faction Motorsports here. Today we're gonna to be doing an install of our aftermarket mirror adapter kit for the FRS and BRZ. On our website, you'll find that we have two different options for this kit. One is a weld-in delete panel, and one is a clip-in. The tools you're gonna need for this job are a Phillips head screwdriver, flathead, pry tool, 10 and 12 millimeter sockets, whiteout or a paint marker, needle nose plier, punch, hammer, drill, and drill bits. First step in the install is to get this door panel off. You're gonna find three screws total and one clip. Once we get the screws and the clips out, the next step is to pop this panel off. So once you free up the panel, you wanna pull it up, and you'll find there's a couple more things you gotta do. You wanna release the door handle and lock, the interior light, and the plugs for the switches and lock. The next step is to get this weather barrier off. Pro tip, use a razor blade for easier and cleaner removal. Once you've peeled back the weather barrier, you're gonna find two 10 millimeter nuts and one 12 millimeter. Once you remove the nuts, the next step is to undo this clip to pull back the weather strip. Once you've peeled the weather strip back, the next step is to push this track back far enough that this stud will clear this hole. And it just comes out just that easy. Now that we've got the glass out, the next step is to get the mirror off. To remove the mirror, you need to first get this plastic cover off to expose the three bolts. Once you get the cover off, you'll see the three 10 millimeter bolts. Before you remove the last 10 millimeter bolt, make sure you disconnect the connector for the mirror. To swap the OEM glass with the adapter plate, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket and a set of needle nose pliers. Make sure you hold on to the stock hardware because you'll be reusing these. Once you fit up the plate, the next step is to reinstall the hardware in reverse order. Once you've got the adapter plate mounted, we're gonna bring it back over to the car and mock it up. Before we mount the mirror, I wanna show you the difference between our weld-in and clip-in options. The weld-in option sits super flush and is for those who are looking for that super clean factory finish. For those looking for a less permanent install, we also have a clip-on option. Make sure you apply the RTV gasket included in this kit before performing the installation. If you're experiencing clearance issues, don't be afraid to beat the shit out of this corner using a punch and a hammer. And by beat the shit out of, I mean lightly tap this corner until it fits. The side without the tab faces the front of the vehicle. After installation, make sure to wipe away any excess RTV sealing. On our test vehicle, we'll be installing a pair of GK Tech Aero mirrors for an S13. But this kit is not limited to just this mirror. The possibilities and options are endless. The best way to mark the mirror and the panel is to apply some whiteout to the mirror mounting points. And then position the mirror where you want it to sit so you can drill the holes. Once you've applied your marks to the bracket, get a punch and a hammer so that you can start a centering hole for your drill bit. Finally, 
Ideally, you want to tighten up your mirrors with whatever method works for you and your mirror of choice. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you have any questions regarding the install or the kit itself, please feel free to email us or reach out to us on social media. Mm -hmm. Anyone who's installed the kit, make sure you tag us. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Frankie, what are we doing? Uh, I don't know. Man. Sending it. Alright, Dustin, what are we doing? Sending hard. Alright, we should be good. Yeah. What's up, man? Just slowly.